This area is used for uh, uh, the uh, engine components, or the major engine components. So you can see there's a nozzle, or various no nozzles at various stages of completion. Um, and then you can also see the copper things are the chamber liners. You can see the difference between that. that that's a, uh, a Merlin vacuum configuration, which has got a, a more spread out uh, uh, nozzle section. And that's the sea level configuration, which has got a, a sort of short um, copper nozzle. Those are the uh, propellant supply lines for Falcon 9. So the, the, they've got a single tank that manifolds out to nine engines, and then you've got fill and drain lines. So there's a total of, of uh, 10 sets of five inch diameter lines uh, that uh, manifold out to the various engines. So it's kind of like having like a nine cylinder engine car or something like that. Um, this is our, our tube bending area, so there's a lot of tubes on a rocket and we have a couple of automated tube benders that um, once you program a particular type of tube, uh, it could be a very complicated tube that looks like a crazy pretzel, and this machine can make that exact same tube every time perfectly. Alright, so here we are in the SpaceX machine shop. Uh, we have uh, geez, about 30 different machines of all sizes and shapes. Um, we have uh, wire EDM machines, which is electric discharge machining. We've got lathes, mills. Um, there, there's just an enormous amount of, of metal sculpting that takes place to create the, the vehicle. Uh, you know, what a lot of people don't realize is that SpaceX makes about 80% of, of the vehicle by value in-house. So, you know, for the engine, raw metal comes in and out comes an engine. And um, so it's on these machines that, that the metal is taken from its raw form uh, and into the, the final uh, machine part form. So a part like this will come in as a forging and, and then it will get uh, turned and milled and cut and eventually end up as, a, as an engine chamber liner. This is a new machine that just arrived. Uh, it's just being uh, tested and put through its paces before we start machining on it. They were actually uh, cutting the grooves on a chamber and drilling the holes that are necessary. Uh, for cooling. These are engine manifolds that connect the nozzle and the chamber. These are just various rocket parts, parts for the stages, parts for the engines. Those are some sumps. Uh, that's a tube for uh, the um, main oxygen supply line to Falcon 9. Uh, some more nozzle parts here. Another nozzle part, nozzle part. So that's our machine shop. It's actually, I mean, I haven't gone through everything. There's a lot of detail here and some of it's proprietary, but it gives you a sense for what's capable. We've actually got uh, a lot of off-site machining that we do as well. We have a very high engine production rate here at, at SpaceX. Uh, this, year, uh, this year alone, SpaceX will make more uh, rocket engines than the rest of U.S. production combined. And next year, uh, we'll, we'll make more uh, rocket engines than any country uh, in, in the world. So um, that's a lot of rocket engines that all have to go through um, and be, be made very efficiently and made very accurately. Um, and that's what all these machines are, are for. So what we're looking at here is a Merlin 1C fully regeneratively cooled engine. It's getting ready to ship out to our test site in Texas to, to be part of the nine engine firing. This is actually the ninth and final engine uh, to be shipped out for that. Uh, and when we do that firing, it's going to be quite spectacular. It, it, Falcon 9 is the most powerful single core vehicle in the American fleet, and when Falcon 9 Heavy uh, debuts in, in about uh, two to three years, uh, that will be the most powerful vehicle um, in the world because the shuttle will have retired by that point. Um, so that's really quite significant. It's you know, the royal equivalent of, an, say, an Airbus A380 or a, or a 747. This thing is the turbo pump. Uh, this, is, this is the chamber, the nozzle. Uh, and then there's all the supporting structure in there with the avionics and control valves. And here you can see the difference with a Falcon 1 configuration. So it's a sealed pyramid. The stage valving is contained inside that, that, that pyramid. Um, but other than that, it's substantially the same with a turbo pump and a chamber and nozzle. Very little difference really between the Falcon 1 configuration and the Falcon 9 configuration.